Hey, how are you? My name is Rosemary Swift. I'm the founder of RMS Beauty, and uh, this is my little munchkin, Ruby Moon. I'm here in Savannah, Georgia. This is where I live. I bought my house, I guess, six, seven years ago, and I love it here. Love it. Is it true it's haunted? Oh, yeah, it is. Come have a look. I love this room. This is my kitchen. I designed this, and uh, it is my safe space. I'm telling you, I love this room. It's got the light there, east of windows, south of windows, and when the sun comes in, it's absolutely gorgeous. Center uh, table here, so this is actually really good for doing makeup because I get the models here. They're sitting over there. I come over and do them one at a time. It works perfect, and it's great for talking. Do you want tea? Um, well, my favorite tea is Earl Grey, but I get super wired up from it. So and I've already had one and I'm already wired up. So I'm going to calm myself down. My favorite, second favorite is Dandelion. And third favorite is Moringa. Hey, Ruby, do you want some tea, honey? All right. Tea for me, tea for you. These are the new lip liners. These are fabulous, actually. These are coming out any, actually in March. This one here is awesome because this one it actually adjusts your lips, the pH and the temperature of your body, and it's the most beautiful color. It looks completely clear. Well, um, I've been in the industry a long time, and I'm gonna honestly say that, you know, I've done a lot of stuff, but one of my favorites, there's two favorites makeup-wise, and this is something that I did for Italian Vogue back in the day, and I just love this because I love that wild, punky, strong, uh, 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 images here with the, the eyes and you know the and it, oddly enough I, I put the really dark liner on the lips back in the day I didn't have my own then but you can see I've got them trimmed in really dark which you can do with mine too which looks really cool this is my favorite shot of, of my makeup that I've ever done only because this was done in the early 90s and um, I just love and I literally did that with one sweep those were the days <laughs> Makeup trends that I wish would come back in style. Well, you know what? I, I have to admit, I kind of like a, a smoky dark eye. I think that's very seductive and, and very elegant. And you don't see very many smoky eyes anymore for some odd reason. I don't know why, but I do like a smoky eye. Sexy. First of all, just be warned, I'm a health freak, so everything in here is going to be pretty healthy. You'll see tons of vegetables and, oh, there is a bear. Oh, you know what would surprise you is I have the very first colors that I did when I started my brand. I've got number 22, I've got Seduce, which we don't even have anymore, but the makeup artists actually have, I've been bombarded with a few of them asking me to bring that back. There is an old lipstick that is, I think, my favorite. Oh, that's Brain Teaser. I actually did that color for Giselle, surprisingly. I forgot to show you something. I want to show you this. This is really important. You asked what somebody needs to take for their bodies, for health, digestive enzyme, probiotic. Digestive enzymes help digest all the food that we eat that is not, you know, carbohydrate, sugar, alcohol, all that stuff. So I, I'm a true believer that these really are anti-aging because it just takes the work off the body. And I truly believe that your skin is a mirror to your guts. So if you've got skin issues, you've got to start taking probiotics because that way you're going to, you know, heal, heal the gut is going to heal the skin. Simple as that. You know, I like, I love going out for dinner. That, that is my thing is going out for dinner, man. I, I, I have, I'm a foodie. I have a food fetish for sure. I'm constantly cooking and uh, I love to go out. Asian. I love anything Asian, anything with rice, Japanese, Thai. You have to go to Hong Kong. That has a good Chinese food. And I'm telling you, the food there is phenomenal. Yeah, sure. No props. Let's go. Come on. I was in a punk band back in the 70s, I guess you could say it was back then, when punk was really big in style. And I was the lead singer of a punk band. And I remember our, our first gig was a was a little bar down in Vancouver, where I'm from, Vancouver, Canada. And I remember there was nobody in the audience when we played. This is our first gig, remember? There was two guys sitting there, and I thought, okay, well, we got to do our gig. So we went out there, did our gig, and one of the guys was a producer, and we got asked to back up the Ramones, and then Susie and the Banshees, and the Stranglers. That was back in the day. I had a lot of fun, and uh, I was very naughty. And uh, yeah, it was great. <laughs>
Back in the day, 25 years old on that. I did a red lipstick and uh, a red gloss and a, and a liner. And red for me, it's very hard to wear a blue based red. A lot of people can't pull that off. So this is an orange based red. The pencil, line and define red lip pencil called Pablo. Lip light, and this is called Babette. And that's my sister's middle name. I always thought she had the coolest middle name in the whole world, Babette. So these are the two. And um, you know, if you'd like, I'll show you. All right, I am gonna quickly take this off, my lip off. I'm gonna take some of my coconut oil, which I love. And uh, I'm gonna mush this around for a second. Look at that coconut oil at work, huh? Here's the Pabla Red. And there's also a little brush on here. It's an angle brush. And I'm gonna show you why. There's an angle brush rather than a normal little lip brush. And I'm gonna do a little. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna use this again. Now I don't have a closer mirror, but that's okay. And I'm gonna just do that one. There we go, that's lined. Now I'm gonna do something to make my lips look a little bigger on the top and I'm gonna just soften that line there. And you'll notice when I paint it in, it's gonna look really, really good. Now, instead of the Armist Red, I'm gonna use the uh, Lip Light in Babette. But this is the Red Lip Light. I love this. And I, I'm just gonna fill that in. You can go in there and just give an accurate little line on the outside. And so when you look at it closely, you'll see that it doesn't have those little skips over the wrinkles. It just finishes it and makes it look like a solid straight line. Voila, there we go. Oh my God, I do actually. Oh God, that's a weird question. But I'll answer that. I remember, I remember it was when I was in elementary school and I was playing down by the creek and I was playing with this guy. I've never, I'll never forget his name. His name was Donnie Duncan. And I remember I was down in the, in the pond. We were looking for anything that was floating around in there, the little stream, whatever. And he was beside me. And he, I thought he was looking in, at the water too, and he didn't. He looked over, he came over to me and he kisses me on my cheek. I was devastated. <laughs> but it's kind of cute now that I think about it. <laughs> That right there, it's from the 1800s. It weighed a ton, and it took a few guys to get that up in the wall, so I'm always making sure, I always touch it to make sure it's not wiggling. <laughs> Ruby Moon is number one, of course, always. She travels with me everywhere, except for when I go to Europe or you know, to Asia. Mind you, I haven't been to, to Asia in a long time, but yeah, she, she goes with me everywhere. She always comes on sets, always. I think I'd, I think I'd be lost without her on set. Oh man, I've been shooting, what, for 40 years in the industry and I've gone so many places. I have to say a few places have stuck out and one of them was Iceland. It was phenomenal. Secret talents, well, not so secret anymore. Um, I, I do astrology and um, I've been doing astrology for a long time, actually since I've been 15, so I'm very good at it. From my mom, and that would be less is more. And I take that right through, through um, food. Even when I'm cooking, I don't overdo it with sauces and all this weird stuff on everything. And, uh, and even with the makeup brand, you know, less is more. Yes, this is the best advice I can give you guys. And all I can say is, you have to make sure you know, know and learn how to do beautiful skin. Always make sure the skin looks beautiful. Skin is sensual, it's sexual, and we do not want to cover it all up. Well, I really thank you guys for coming. It was fun, and I, you know, hey, I love talking. And I really want to thank my RMS community because, you know, without you guys, where would I be? And um, have a great day, you guys, and thank you again for coming. I gotta go. Ruby wants to go to the bathroom. Look at her, she looks like a sloth, doesn't she? Like everybody's trying. <laughs> my dog looks like a sloth. <laughs> I love my dog. <laughs>